the wee printed circuit board with the strange cables on it is the JTAG kit itself. This one is for the Eurobox. We have a 20 pin ribbon cable here. We have the printer style parallel port and we have a 5 volt fly lead here, or 3.3 actually. You don't need it for any of the EX range, either 1000, 5000 or the 5100. Right, first off let's plug the JTAG kit in. Now paying particular attention to the red stripe on the left here. The red stripe plugs in to these pins here, that way. Now it's very important that you plug it in the right way around or you will not get the right results. Now, using this parallel cable that we spoke about earlier, that into the printer port on the back of the computer, and this directly into the JTAG itself. Be, be careful with the kit because it's obviously not terribly robust and does deserve a little respect. So we now have the computer lead into the JTAG, JTAG onto the EX1000. Time to fire up the computer. For those who are interested this fly lead here used for older Euroboxes for the blue or the red um, documented elsewhere you don't need it for the EX range. This is where we actually get to use the JTAGing software, SkyMax and JKeys. If I open up the JTAG demo folder, we're going to use SkyMax first, which looks like that. Right, starting with SkyMax, a Eurobox we always set to 2 megabyte, 2 MB. Don't worry about the numbers, just remember the 2. The port at the back is LPT1, which is your printer port. If the box is not switched on, this will happen. Failed, please restart or reset. Basically, the the program itself and the JTAG kit can, can't find any power going to the box. So that's an example of forgetting to turn the power on to the EX1000. Let's start that again with the box switched on. Mains power to the EX1000 is now on. Opening up SkyMax, just remember it's always 2 MB, LPT1, and hit start. You don't need to know what that message means, but the fact that it has OK at the end is good. You can now exit out of SkyMax completely. J keys making sure that your unit is still powered up. The fact that it's finding information here means it's detecting the stuff inside your box. First off you always click the development panel. This message is to be ignored. Press OK. Quick recap. We've used SkyMax. We're now on JKeys. We've gone into the development panel, ignored the big screen, clicked on OK and we're now at this panel here where we have the address. The address is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 zeros after. Press load to 
and if you have the right files you will have an unlock under 20 underscore 28 again just click it and click trigger user the trap is now functional so address 8 and 7 zeros load to use the unlock underscore 28 bin file forget why just do it click trigger user and if this box and all the other ones fill up with zeros you should be happy close the window and go to the flash programming section so development panel first flash programming section afterwards and this IRD model drop it down and choose the one which says one chip GLA here we've got a, um, a section that says chip sector pro programming because we know that there's a fault with the, the chip anyway we're going to erase it and we want to erase the whole thing so click yes this takes a few seconds you'll see a waiting erasure and that's it finished now we have an empty chip just for the geeky people and the ones who are actually genuinely interested in all this nonsense the chip that has just been erased is the big one here still using JKeys in the flash programming section the erase is, is finished click on the program and just say yes and you'll need the the bin file or the JTAG file for this box now it's an EX1000 it's a genuine so I'm going to double click this and leave it for about three minutes back soon and as you can see the program is just about to come to an end Congratulations, you've just finished your first JTAG. Press OK. And that's it. 100% of Flash has been programmed. So you've rewritten the chip with all the new information to correct any of the errors before. Click OK and close the programs down. close that down. That is the end of the JTAGing process. You can now go back to using the unified loader to reprogram the box.